And in order to take information that you have in our sketch notes and separate pieces of it from one section to another, you need containers. Containers or frames. We're going to add that to our list too. So if you have a piece of text, let's say two or three lines, you can take that basic square or rectangle shape and just contain it. And you can decorate it a little bit, maybe look like a notebook if you want, or add a picture. Done. Another way is you can take text, a few lines, and you can section it off by drawing that rectangle tool. But then if we just add four little pegs here, we can make it look like it's framed just by connecting those lines. And that kind of helps it stand off the page and it offers a little bit of a difference there. Or to switch it up from rectangles, you can also take like that um, speech text if you want. This looks like the word wow and pow could be in there, but you can also separate it and to show emphasis and the meaning, which is great for our students to do to choose their containers wisely. And as a class, you can even talk about what containers are best to use when. So normal speech bubbles. And this one I like because it's got the same rectangular shape to it, but I can make it look like it's tacked onto the wall with nails or, or sticky tacks. I'm just doing this quickly to show you, but you get the idea. So it looks like it's tacked on. So these offer a variety of ways of keeping your text contained from the rest of it rest of your sketch note. All right, pinching in here, I'm going to change my color tool here, my pen. I haven't gone to purple yet, we're going to do that. And just like containers are important, it's also important to divide text from one thing to another as well. So if you don't want everything in a container and you just want to show like maybe subdivision a little bit you can use dividers for that so pretty much anything you want to do to show that di division is fine like dotted lines here wavy lines straight lines with some little tiny images added just anything to visually um, direct your readers Add a couple more So again, just lines and shapes and circles. You can even add those little rectangles in there to make it look like even tracks that take you to the next idea. All right, so we've got containers, dividers. We're gonna choose another color. This one's for our connectors. So when we start getting a page full of sketch notes, it's sometimes hard to, for our reader to know where to dive in and it can be overwhelming. So if you wanna have a piece of text that's already in a container to show where you need to move next or what direction, a simple arrow would be fine. And in this one, I can close that arrow up so I can fill it in, which does help to pop it. Nice, it does pop off the page. So that tells you to go right from one piece of text to the next. You can also use those dotted lines. So very similar to our dividers, our connectors can be made up of very similar things. I don't really like the way that looks, so I'm just gonna make an adjustment. Maybe fill it in a little bit. There we go. So it could be straight dotted lines or it can even be curvy lines for our dividers as long as our readers know where to look next. Simple enough. Draw that text box there. Good. So that's three little connectors and we can also use one, two, and three or numbers. 
that's very easy for readers to, to identify where to start and where to end up as well. All right, choosing another color. Let's come over here to the left side of our canvas and we're gonna add bullets, different type of bullet types. And that's just about anything you can think of too. Very simple. Circles and squares and fill them in or leave them open. Add things to them. It's just something to make text pop off the page a little bit. 